Welcome to our Control M Video Solutions channel. In this video, we will be covering mail shout destinations. Before we get started, I want to let you know that there is a prerequisite. That being, you must already have the proper SMTP parameters configured on your Control M server. We have a knowledge article that covers this, and if you need any assistance, feel free to get in touch with our support team. That being said, this video will guide you through the process of setting up a new mail shout destination and selecting it on a desired job definition. To begin, we will need to log in to our Control M Configuration Manager. This is also known as the CCM. In the CCM, we will select the Manage tab. After that, we will click on the Shout Destination button to open up our Shout Destination Manager. Next to the Control M server label, we will select the server which we wish to set up a new shout destination for. Once the desired server is selected, click on the exist existing system shout table. Here is where we will add a new shout destination. Click on the plus icon at the top left. A new dialog box will pop up prompting us for information. For logical name, enter your desired shout destination name. In this example, I will enter my SMTP server. For address, select server. For destination, select mail. Our value will be the email address that we wish to use. In this case, I'm using example at mailserver.com. If you wish to use more than one email address, you can separate them with a semicolon. Once you are finished defining your email addresses, click on the OK button. As you can see, we now have a new shout destination with our email addresses defined. The next step is to log into your Control and Workload Automation client and load up a new workspace with your desired job definition. Once we have the desired job definition open, we can click on the Actions tab and select the Notifications Before Job Completion option. Because this is a new shout destination that has never been used before, you will need to input it manually in the Destination field box. Don't worry though, the next time you open the dialog box, the mail shout destination will appear. So after entering our shout destination name under destination, you can go ahead and write any message that you would like and set the urgency to what you desire. Just to confirm that you don't have to manually type the shout destination again, we can click on the plus icon and as you can see, our MySMTP server is now available. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch our SMTP shout destination video. If you require any assistance, do not hesitate to get in contact with the Control M support team. We are always happy to help. Thank you.